Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP lock for factory reset protection. Now here with us today, we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the initial setup steps, we get to this screen that asks us to either verify the previous user screen lock pin that was used in order to continue, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll tell us that the other option is to sign in with the previous Google account that was on the device in order to be able to proceed and use it. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us about this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or also a lot of times, unfortunately, these days, someone will buy a used device on the internet from someone who turns out to be a scammer. So after the purchase, the buyer discovers the device is locked, and of course, they're not going to have the previous user's login information, and the seller has usually long since disappeared in that case because, again, it's a fraudulent transaction. So we're making this video here today to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. Our removal procedure is something that we do directly to the tablet while it is plugged into a computer. So the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure procedure that we did here right now on this one. So actually, as I was speaking, I was running our unlock program here on the device that goes ahead and takes care of that for us. After it finishes up this last restart here, we should be able to see that we can get access to the home screen and all of the apps and settings without needing that previous uh, Google account info. So we're just going to begin going through the steps here now that it's back at the welcome screen. So agree to terms and conditions is of course required. We're gonna tap on set up manually because we don't need to transfer data or anything like that. And we're actually not gonna need Wi-Fi, so we're just going to skip that step. There we go, skip. No, just kidding, it's not gonna let us skip it. And this is a mobile version of the tablet, so it supports a cellular connection. So we're gonna skip that by saying set up later. We don't need to copy apps and data, so that will be skipped also. Okay, and now you've noticed that the message on the Google sign-in page has changed. Rather than specifically requiring the previous account, we can now sign into any account if desired. But we're just going to skip that part also for now, just to make sure that we can get all the way through the rest of the setup steps as fast as possible, just to make sure that we can access the home screen. And it says Google Play Store is being updated, so I guess we need to wait for that to finish up in the background. There we go. And there we go. We're all the way through the, the uh, setup steps. We're at the home screen now with full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. So while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and pop into the settings to show you exactly what we're working with. 
So when we go in there and then down to About Tablet, we can indeed see that we have a Tab S9 FE, and it is a 5G model, like I said, with the cellular connection. And then that model number there, the SMX518U, is the specific device that we're working on here, if my focus would cooperate. There we go. So if you have one of these exact same devices with the Google account lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.